welcome viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the November 2022 mathematics paper 1. In the first 11 episode we covered question 1 through 17. So in this 12th episode we are going to start with question 18. So let us move straight to question 18. 18a ABC is a straight line. The coordinates of the points A and B are 2,1 and negative 6,5 respectively. Given that B is the midpoint of AC, find the coordinates of C. Question B. In the diagram, A or B is a sector of a circle, center O, angle A or B is equal to 72 degrees and the radius is 14 centimeters. Calculate the area of the sector, and this is two marks each. So, let me move to the new page where I'm going to create enough space to solve these questions in the easiest possible way. So, we start with question 18a. We've been told that ABC is basically a straight line. Then, uh, we have three points, then of which our point B is the midpoint of the line AC. Then what we know in this case is point A and B are given to us. So the question is we need to find basically the coordinates of C. So let me just draw a left line. So let us assume this is A, then this is C. Then at A we have 2 comma 1. Then we have B somewhere here which is at the middle point in such a way that this is uh, basically the middle point which we call B and this is basically negative 6 comma 5 then such that this is equal to that then the question is find X comma Y that's what the question is telling us to do so how do we find the value of uh, X and Y at C so we know that uh, basically the midpoint the midpoint to find the values of B, we need to say uh, we start with base card X. So X, which is the midpoint value, is equal to basically the value of X at A, which is X A, plus the value of uh, the X at C over 2. That's how we find the value of X at B. So this is midpoint is the value of B. So we know the value of X at B. This is basically negative 6 is equal to what is the value of X at A? Is 2. So 2 plus what's the value of X at C? We don't know so that's what you're looking for. Over 2. Then at this point we solve for X value at C. So this is negative. So we just cross multiply here. So it will be 2 multiplied by negative 6 which is negative 12 is equal to 2 plus x subscript c then what we do is we take to the other side becomes a negative so we have negative 12 minus 2 equals to basically x c so what is x c so the value is basically equal to negative 14 that's the value of x at this point is negative 14 then we do the same for y so in a similar way it will be basically Generally, the midpoint of y is equal to y2 plus y1 over 2. So, it will be y at b, which is the midpoint, equals to y at a plus the value of y at c over 2. So, the value of y at b is basically equal to 5, equals, then at a is a 1, then plus yc, which we are looking for over basically 2. Then we cross multiply here, it will be basically 2 times 5, it will be 10 equals 1 plus yc. Then we have basically 10 minus 1, the moment this one crosses at the equal sign here, it becomes a negative, is equal to basically yc. Then 10 minus 1 is 9 equals to yc. So the value is basically equal to 9. So here we have 9. So basically, this is how you find at the coordinates of uh, C. So C is basically negative 4 comma 9. We move to question B. So we are told that in this diagram, 
we have O as the center. Then we have A or B within this angle. Then we are told that the radius is basically 14. So the question is finding the area of this sector. So the area of a sector is given by basically the angle subtending that sector, which is in this case 72 over 360, then multiply by the formula for area, which is pi r square. Then what we have is now A is equal to this angle is 72 over 360 multiplied by uh, pi. So in this case, we told pi is 22 over 7, then multiply by a 14 square. So what we end up with is 72 over 360, then multiply by 22 over 7, multiply by 14 by 14. That's what we get. Now, what we can do is basically we can simplify uh, 72 over 360. And also at the same time, we say 7 into 7 is a 1, 7 into 14 is a 2. So that basically makes it much more easier. So which other number can we uh, divide? So we know that uh, basically 9 into uh, 360, this is uh, basically 40. The 9 into uh, 72 is basically 8. Okay. Then what we can do is we can also further divide. We can say 4 into 40, this is 10. 4 into 8 is a 2. So we have a 2 here. Then we also have basically 2 into 10 is basically 5. 2 into 22 is 11. Then what we end up with is basically the case where we're saying we have 2 multiplied by basically 11 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1, 4, which is 14, over basically 5. Okay? Then when you multiply 2 by 11 is 22 times 2, this whole thing gives me basically 44 multiplied by 14. Then I can multiply a 44 by 14. So if I come here, I do 44 multiplied by 14. What do I get? 4 times 4 is 6. Then carry 1, then 4 times uh, 4 is 16. Then plus 1, we have 17. Then 1 times 4 is a 4. 1 times 4 is a 4. Then I had this. I'm going to get basically a 6. Then 11. Then plus 5, which is 6, uh, 16. So now 6, 16, I divided by 5. 5 into 6 is basically a 1, remainder 1. 5 into 11 is a 2, remainder 1. 5 into uh, 16 is basically a 3, remainder 2. Then 5 into a zero, a 2 is basically 0, 0 0.2. So I end up with basically 123.2. So basically the answer there is 123.2 as our answer. So basically this is how you answer this question to get a uh, two marks. Then plus the other two you get um, four in total. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, video. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to our channel because of course so much content for you. So once you subscribe and go to our YouTube channel, you'll discover that we've got extensive exam revision where we've covered questions in mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Then we are also adding more subjects. We've got also another section which is topic-based exam question revisions. This is the best section for you if you are facing any challenges in any specific topic. Remember, for you to master anything, you need to know how questions are asked. Hence, we give you tips and tricks by giving you extensive explanation to each and every question.